Andre Berlin. The title of my dissertation is Becoming Sustainable in Autoethnography in Story and Song. And over the next few minutes, I will be sharing story and song. It's a focus on the idea of the individual and the self in sustainability. And that's not a narcissistic, egocentric self. It's self-work that I did on my own, but not work that I did alone. It was in community. And it would not have happened without support, and maybe without challenges from members of my personal, professional, and academic community. So my question was, what were the steps that I took to become a more sustainable person? Over the course of four years in the doctoral program, something happened. I was a different person four years ago than I am today. And I know four years go by, and all sorts of things happen, but there were things that happened and there are things that I made happen as a result of many lived experiences that I will talk a little bit about in a few minutes. So why is this important work? Well, for one, these last four years, I've been sharing a lot of these lived experiences in different creative ways in writing on a blog. That was my way of keeping a PhD journal. Thank you, Cheryl Shore. And through music on a YouTube channel, and in my academic and professional communities I was sharing. And I received a response. One in particular that came this past fall was from a woman that I went to graduate school with, and I had not been in touch with her for a number of years. And she sent me a lengthy email, and she said, Marika, I've been reading your blog, so I feel like I'm right here with you, even though we haven't been in touch for a while. And she told me that she was thinking about making a change in her life. And she recognized that there's something that wasn't working for her. And she was unhappy. She was unhappy in her marriage. And I was the person that she thought might, might not judge her, might, might offer sanctuary. And I did. And that's not to say that I'm you know, this amazing person. But the reason I reached out was because I knew where she was. And she was in a place where I was not too long ago. And I knew that the support that I received from people in my personal community, my cohort, my academic community, my faculty, and, and, and from some members of my professional community, especially most recently, they helped me through that beautiful storm. And I wanted to do that for her. And she came and stayed with me for three months. And it was like looking in a mirror at where I was, and it also it made me really thankful to be there with her witnessing this, and also to be able to tell her with absolute certainty that she would get through that storm, and she did. And she's still moving through it. I'm still moving through daily storm. I'm certainly not a, you know, an expert on sustainability, and I'm not an expert yet on how to be a sustainable being, but I'm in practice. And so what I, what I, did in the beginning of trying to answer this question was I looked at research and I looked at the coursework that I had done for the last few years and I found the individual. I found the individual in a lot of places. I found the individual in service to and in connection with some pretty big scale projects and um, paradigm shifts and changes. I saw the individual in deep ecology and eco-psychology, eco-therapy, helping to heal the human relationship with the earth. I saw the individual as a servant leader, helping to guide and effect change on a great scale. And I saw the individual in transformative education, involving individuals in their educational experiences and choices, and in a lot of other places. But those happened to be some of the paths that I followed as I was searching for dissertation focus that was not always completely apparent. But you know, there's still this question for me, I mean, what well, so what about the individual in, in, this, in this picture? What about the individual and sustainability? What does it mean to be an individual? And how is it that I'm in this place now that's much more sustainable than I was four years ago? So I was lucky to learn about autoethnography from people um, very dear to me. And what I did was I, through autoethnography, I spent a lot of time writing out every single possible piece that I could remember, not all linearly because they come in moments and reflections of my lived experiences from the past four years. And then I used narrative inquiry to kind of delve more deeply into 
those experiences, some of them more enjoyable to delve into than others. And looked for trends and looked for patterns of what might have happened, you know, maybe within each of one of these years, were there particular steps exactly that I took? What happened? What I discovered was that in each year of this program, yeah, there were a lot of gradual steps, but they they kind of came into, for me, four different distinct stages. So in year one of the program, that, that big stage that I experienced was one of awareness. It was awareness of just what was possible in sustainability. So I came into the program thinking sustainability had just an environmental focus and a background as an environmental educator. And in moving through this first year of the program, I all of a sudden realized that this could include social justice, economics, education. And I started to think about the context of my own life. I was delving so deeply into academic study of sustainability that I had to step back and say, well, hold on a second. You know, I'm not feeling all that sustainable myself. Am I a sustainability hypocrite if I'm like studying this and I'm like trying to affect this big change but I'm not walking the talk, you know, in Mark land. So, um, so that was kind of that first year. And towards the end of that year, I came through to another stage. And I'm going to demonstrate this in a um, more personal story in some of the years. But that second stage was permission. And it was permission that was granted to me first by other people. And that took a lot of stubbornness on my part to grant to myself permission to think about sustainability in a different way. And permission to really look within myself to think about the elements of my life that may not be sustainable. Who in my wildest dreams I might want to be to become a more sustainable person and how to set those changes in 